Hello everybody, uh, week three, uh, problem number one, part A. I'm gonna do this video just on part A. I'll do a second video on part B to follow up. So, farmer Susie grows turnips and weighs, and the weights of her turnips are normally distributed. Okay, so there's our first indicator. We're gonna be working with some kind of normal PDF, CDF, etc. So, normally distributed with mean, so mu equal to that, and standard deviation sigma equal to 14.7. It says in part one, calculate the percentage of Susie's turnips that weigh between 110 and 130. So, I want to do a normal CDF. I want to accumulate. Uh, all values right in between 110 and 130 so in your calculator you'd you'd type in for your lower bound 110 for your upper bound 130 for your mean 122 and your standard deviation 14.7 again uh, the calculator is friendly here that would come out to be 0.4996975 and some other stuff. So to three sig figs, that would be 0 0.500. Okay, so part two. Susie has 100 turnips to take to the market. Find the expected number weighing more than 130. Okay, so what we'd want to do is we would want to, first of all, expected value would equal um, the number of turnips times the probability, right? And But we need to find the probability that said turnip weighs more than 130, okay? So I got to find that probability. Well, how I'm going to do that is I'm going to do another normal CDF. This time I'm gonna go from 130 up to 1,000. That should be far enough, I would hope, uh, with the same mean and standard deviation. And that's gonna give me P. So by my calculations, the old TI has given me a, a value to three decimal, or to three sig figs of tw uh, 0.293. Therefore, the expected value or expected number of turnips would be the number of turnips taken to market times the probability that they are greater than 130 grams. So I would expect 29.3 turnips. Uh, likely, you'd just call that 29 turnips. Okay, you can't round a partial up to the next hole. All right, let's move to part three. It says find the probability that at least 30 of the 100 gram turnips weigh more than 30 grams. Now this is gonna be binomial. And the reason it's gonna be binomial is because the turnip will either weigh more than 130 or it will not. So <clears throat> to find the probability that at least 30 of them, of them, right, this is, there was a mistake, IB printed incorrectly, it should just be of the 100 turnips, what we would do now is we'd use the binomial, so this would be binomial CDF, and we would start with number of trials, probability of success for that trial or those trials and uh, the x value so cdf what it'll do is accumulate from zero up to that number okay so what this would be this this value that we'd come out with would be the probability that at most would be at most 30 would weigh more than 130 grams. So we wanna do a slight uh, adaptation of this. I don't wanna include 30. Okay, so I'm gonna go from one to 29. And I'm gonna take one minus that. And what that'll do is that'll give me 
uh, exactly what I want, which is the probability that at least 30 of the 100 turnips weighed weighs more than 130 grams. And that answer comes out to be to three sig figs, 0.476. So there's a almost 48% chance that at least 30 of the 100 turnips weighs more than 130 grams. Okay, that's uh, number one, part A. Next video I'll have is one, part B. See you next one.